To begin this timeline, we need to start back in age 765 during the 23rd World Martial Arts Tournament. After a long and grueling fight, Goku would have just barely managed to win the tournament against Piccolo Jr., which, Judge Ravisaur comes over and gives a sense of being to Goku so that he doesn't have to go to the hospital. Then, as Kami comes over to try and kill the now defenseless Piccolo Jr., Goku intervenes and stops him. As Goku reveals to the others that he would die if he killed Piccolo Jr., Kami goes on to say he has no right to be the god anymore. This is where Master Roshi interjects and says without the Dragon Balls, Goku would have never become what he is to save the world. So, Kami goes on to say he found a wise mentor that gives Goku a gi with a turtle hermit symbol on it. As usual, Goku then gives Piccolo Jr. a sensu beam, which he then promises to kill Goku and take over the world. Then he flies off. From there, while Goku and Chi Chi are celebrating, Kami approaches Goku and offers to take his place as the Guardian of Earth. Goku, as usual, still refuses this offer and takes off with Chi Chi on the Flying Nimbus. Here is also where the change from the original timeline happens, as in this timeline, Kami would still be thinking he isn't worth being the next Guardian. So, he would start to think about who else could be his replacement, and the main two options would be Master Roshi or Tien. Both are good options, as Tien tried to help in the fight with King Piccolo, going as far to learn the evil containment wave. Then as for Master Roshi, he gave his life for the Earth once already, when he tried to steal King Piccolo away like Master Mutaito did all those years ago. Also, Kami's seen him demonstrate his wisdom not long ago, so he also thinks that would be a good trait for the Guardian of Earth to have. It's also a plus that Master Roshi already went through Korin's training where he had to get the sacred water. However, he also knows about Roshi she's wicked and perverted side, but he once had an evil side himself, so he would know this can be worked with. So, he would approach Master Roshi after Goku took off and offer him to go under training to be the next Guardian of Earth. Now, as for whether Roshi would take this offer or not could be up to debate, though, from what we have seen in the Tournament of Power, Roshi has been training secretly to get stronger. We have no idea when he started training like that, but it easily could have been after the Piccolo Jr. Saga, since he would have seen how close Goku came to being defeated. So, for the sake of this timeline, I'll say he has a desire to start training again at this point, and Kami's offer would be a great chance for him to train, even if, for some reason, he doesn't doesn't become the next Guardian of Earth, he still got to train with Kami and improve that way. So, I believe Master Roshi would agree to Kami's offer, so Kami would teleport himself and Roshi up to the lookout after he says goodbye to everyone there. After that, everyone else who came to watch the tournament leaves, with them all returning home. Master Roshi's first year of training with Kami would be much like Goku's time training with Kami, as it would mainly be going over the basics of his training, which, unfortunately, in the manga we don't see what this training entails. However, we do know how strong Goku got from this training, as his power went from 260 to 306. So, that's about a 1.17 times increase, but I believe Roshi would train a little harder since he's trying to become the next Guardian. So I'll increase his boost on his basic training with Kami to 1.2 times. So, Roshi usually has his power suppressed to 139, but his full power is 180. After this boost, his power would go up to 167 when suppressed and 216 when it isn't suppressed. Then, for his advanced training with Kami in preparation to become Guardian, there's two potential routes I can go with this. I can either go with him having to split his evil side from himself like Kami did, or I can have him go the route of slowly working on controlling his lust over the years. Originally, I didn't plan to go with the route of him separating his evil side from himself, but I think it could be the more interesting option for a story, so I decided to go with it. Which, of course, him splitting his evil side from himself would make him weaker. We don't know how exactly Kami splits himself into two, and if it is just a thing the Mechians can do, or if it was a technique Kami learned how to do. For the sake of this timeline, I will say it is a technique that Kami learned, instead of it being something limited just in the Mechians. So, he would teach the fission technique to Roshi, which would likely take him a bit to master. When he eventually uses this technique, he was split into two people, with his evil half being named Asmo. This name comes from the name of the Demon of Lust, Asmodeus. Also, as mentioned above, Roshi would become weaker from using this technique. It's hard to say how much weaker he would become with part of him being separated. I just went with a simple method of dividing his power in half, since he is splitting into two people. So, both Master Roshi and Asma would have a power level of 108. However, a confrontation doesn't happen between the two, as they would let Asma flee for now. Since they have the same power level, Kami would have seen it pointless to force Roshi to confront his evil counterpart right now. Instead, he can use this as a test for Roshi, since training to confront his evil self could be a goal of his. Normally, the World Martial Arts Tournament doesn't happen again until age 767. However, to make this story slightly more interesting, I'm going to say that they managed to repair the arena by age 759, so that the World Martial Arts Tournament still happens every three years. So, Kami's current plan is for Roshi to confront Asmo at the 24th World Martial Arts Tournament in age 759. 
Anyway, with his evil side now split from himself, he would be able to start his training for the Guardian position. It would take him two years to do this training, but it wouldn't focus on just improving his strength. Of course, it would also focus on improving his spirituality, which is far easier now that his old lustful side was separated from himself. Since Roshi already had a good handle on being spiritually awoken, after his lustful side was separated from himself, there isn't a lot he has to do to achieve this. Anyway, this training would involve him learning the duties of Guardian and practicing doing them himself. Besides watching over the Earth, we don't know a lot about what all the Guardians do. We know that they can travel to other world and guide souls to the other world, so Roshi would likely be taught this as well. This potentially means that Roshi could have been brought to other world to meet King Yama. Not only that, but he might also be brought there to meet King Kai which, if he is made to run Snake Way, it could become part of his training. However, I don't think he would have to train with King Kai once he arrives there, it was just to meet him. Kami would hold off on having him do training with King Kai until after he becomes the Guardian, since that training might be too hard for him as of right now. Regardless, after these three years, Roshi would be ready to become the next Guardian. However, before officially making him the Guardian, Kami has one final test for him. He wants Roshi to go to the 24th World Martial Arts Tournament and face Asmo. In the last two years, Asmo would have been out in the wilderness training as well. While he is essentially Roshi's lustful side incarnate, which means he likely would have gotten himself into loads of trouble over these years, he would also likely have knowledge about martial arts. Since Roshi is a great martial arts master, the martial arts likely came to Asmo naturally. At some point, he likely would have seen a flyer advertising the 24th World Martial Arts Tournament, which the prize money would be more than enough of a reason for Asmo to join the tournament. Kami would have noticed this, so he decided to make Roshi's final test fighting Asmo in the tournament, since what better way to literally overcome your demons by facing the evil side of yourself? Who knows, this might even lead to them being able to merge back into one person down the road. Anyway, when the time comes for the tournament, even though Asmo isn't threatening the world like Piccolo was, Kami would allow Roshi to tell the other heroes about it, so that they could join as well. After all, Roshi potentially facing his former students again could be a good way to test his growth too. Also, if they go against Asmo and lose, it would be a good way to observe the power of their enemy. Anyway, with the heroes going their separate ways before, it might be hard to find some of them. However, since Roshi can now view the Earth like Kami can, he would be able to locate them. Yamcha is an easy one to find, since after the defeat of Piccolo, he went on to become a baseball player. He also still stays at Castle Corporation with Bulma, so this in combination with him being in the public eye makes it easy to find. When Roshi explains to him what is happening, he would agree to join the tournament. Another easy one for Roshi to find is Krillin, as he would have been watching a Kame house for Roshi while he was away. Of course, after being told the situation, Krillin would join the tournament too. As for the hard ones to find, Tien and Shotsky were harder to find. However, as mentioned above, with the help of Kami and being able to view the Earth, they would locate Tien and Shotsu. Since they've been out in the wilderness training, they would agree to join too. The last ones Roshi would go to recruit would also be easy to find, as he would know where Goku lives. Goku is an easy one to convince to join the tournament, since he's easily excited by the idea of fighting someone strong. Chi Chi is harder to convince, as by this time she would have already had Gohan and wouldn't want to leave him alone. However, I think Roshi would easily be able to convince her to join by saying he could find someone to watch Gohan, which he would likely ask either Kami or Bulma to watch Gohan, since they both would be at the tournament to watch it. This would be able to convince Chi Chi since both are intelligent and could help teach Gohan something, though he is only two at this time, so he wouldn't be learning anything too advanced. This is a good start on her dream of him becoming a scholar. So, though it does take some convincing from both Roshi and Goku, Chi Chi would agree to join the tournament as well. So, now that Roshi gathered all the heroes, they would take off towards the tournament arena together.